For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, it is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. There can be no greater gift than that of giving one's time and energy to helping others without expecting anything in return. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. There is no passion to be found playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Freedom is indivisible, the chains on any one of my people were the chains on all of them, the chains on all of my people were the chains on me. There is no easy walk to freedom anywhere, and many of us will have to pass through the valley of the shadow of death again and again before we reach the mountain top of our desires. Let there be justice for all. Let there be peace for all. Let there be work, bread, water and salt for all. Let each know that for each the body, the mind and the soul have been freed to fulfill themselves. There is a universal respect and even admiration for those who are humble and simple by nature and who have absolute confidence in all human beings irrespective of their social status. If you want to make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. Then he becomes your partner. I could not imagine that the future I was walking toward could compare in any way to the past that I was leaving behind. As a leader, one must sometimes take actions that are unpopular, or whose results will not be known for years to come. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. I realized that they could take everything from me except my mind and my heart. They could not take those things. Those things I still had control over, and I decided not to give them away. Do not judge me by my successes, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. 